this a joke? If it were a joke, Chief, you'd be laughing. You walked out of this academy six years ago, one week to graduation. You think we forgot about that? You think I did? Sir, if you just give me another Brian. shot. Look, we all remember your old man. Being his son, all you had to do was breathe to graduate here. Dead hero father rule. But you blew us off. Why should I take you back? Sir, if you remember, my test scores were in the I top don't give of a the damn class. about your test scores. Maybe you could have been a good fireman. But you had your shot. I need another one, sir. It's out of my hands. Sorry. Try again next year. No, it's not. Or you wouldn't have met me in the first place, right? You know if I push, you have to let me back in here. Dead hero father rule. Sir. Even if you bust your ass over the next three months and graduate this academy, you still got nine months of probation. That's hard duty, son. If you don't really love this job, it'll kill you. I'll see you on Monday, sir. Karen Green. Congratulations, candidate Green. Thank you, sir. Tim Krasminski. You don't know how much this means to me, sir. Congratulations, candidate Krasminski. Brian McCaffrey. Good luck, Brian. David Saunders. Congratulations, candidate Saunders. Thank you, sir. Come on, come on. McCaffrey, if you lose this one, I'm gonna kill you. Who was that broad? Broads? It's a girl, she's a friend of mine. Blow the red. Yeah, blow the red. Here we go. Whoa! I can't believe this. First night, baby! Keep staring, Steven. I'm gonna start charging the mission. Hey, Shadow. So, you got a cause there? Mice with matches. Well, the glory boys are actually showing interest in investigations work. I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> no, the glory boys just wanna finish the report so they can go home. Well, the glory boys are gonna have to wait a few days on this one. Guys, let's go. Hey, good job, 17. See you Monday. See you around, Timmy. Take it easy. And next time I go in. Is it? What, you never saw one before? In a field museum once. Yeah. Well, it works. Worked when you were in the sixth grade, maybe. Oh, there we go. People actually used to pay you to do this? Are you kidding? Millions, Stephen. Sexual favors? Sheep don't count. Look who's talking. That was never proved. Oh, yeah? What about Laura? What do you want, Brian? Huh? Want another beer? Now well, that's it, huh? Big bad brother's gonna ride my ass till I cough blood, huh? Big bad brother ain't gonna do anything except treat you like any other probie. That I don't think is gonna make it.
Well, I guess there's just only so much technology can do, huh? <laughs> thanks for the beer. Yeah, thanks for the speakers. Hey, I guess that 30 grand a year and 22 days off a month sounded pretty good a little while back, huh? Hey, Proby! We're still working up here, man. Man, you guys missed the hell of a hit. I tell you. <coughs> hey, watch out, boy. It was good. For minor. And luck. <laughs> and you're lucky your head wasn't still in there. <laughs> Where well, you sleep from the night? Yeah, it's luck. Yeah, go luck, go ball. Hey, baby McCaffrey. Hey, first one's a clincher. You did okay. Yeah, I bet my lieutenant has something to say about that, huh? Uh, everybody screws up some Brian. He's just working for the toughest lieutenant in the block. That one time saw him pick up a probie. He thought it was moving too slow. Throw him into a burning building. Just bad luck your family. Hey, John. Yeah, no, you, you ever been in a fire where, uh... No, have, you, have you ever been in a fire where you could see... All right, ladies. Let's roll some holes, huh? Pick it up, guys. We're going home. We're starting to get the feeling that your office is dragging out this case to embarrass the alderman because of his fire department cutbacks. You mean his firehouse closing program, don't you? Well, um... <laughs> We'd just be really disappointed if your office was playing politics. Because I'm not an inspector. I care about you people. I care about this department. Brian, clean the holes and hang it. Brian, Brian, check this out. <laughs> oh, that's Franny. She likes firemen. Jesus Christ. Tits and fires. I love this place. Tim, pull out the alarm cart. Hey, Brian, could you hang some hose, please?
Bye. Bye. I think that's for me. Thank you. Grenadine, right? When I was 20. Well, I guess you're just a little too sophisticated for that now, huh? Look, Brian, Jane, are you ever going to let us have a normal conversation? Yeah, there were about again, six years there where we could have had a normal conversation. I guess not. I'm sorry. I, I keep doing that to you. It's just, um, I, I guess I thought you would have called if you ever came back here and you didn't. And, well, you didn't call when you left either, so. But you know, it's, it's a good thing because I've changed a lot and I, I have a very important job now. Yeah, I don't even I have time. I shouldn't even be chatting. Karen Swayzik's notebook, right? What? How could you work for that guy, huh? He's gonna be Mayor Brian. And he does the right things, too. And if you just take off those uh, fire department blinders, you might be able to Swayze. see that. And Humanity's that last hope, huh? Do you know that 30% of the city's budget goes to police and fire departments? No, it isn't. That's that cost for that. Look, all I know is that more firemen are getting hurt now than before Marty's big plan. Uh, 150 years of tradition unimpeded by progress. That's the attitude that's getting fired. Listen to you. I mean, when, when did you guys start finally using air packs? What, five, five years ago? Seven. Well, you know another thing? They've been using them in L.A. for 20 years. They've been mandatory. Use us. In LA. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Mary? Nice to How see you. you. Nice to see you, too. You. Is, is your friend Jean still interested in hosting a fundraiser? Oh, I yes. think she's. Yes? Yeah. Well, why don't you give us a call, okay? I will do. Yeah. Marty's over there. I'm sure he'd love to see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. What? Man, you've sure picked up a few moves since John Paul II Boulevard, huh? Well, I hope so, yeah. Well, then I guess you're not the same girl who used to love to slow dance with me in my basement over on Kedzie, huh? No. That was me. You know, uh... I seem to remember a lot of really good nights on the boulevard. A few. Hey, Sal. How come you're not talking to old Marty Swayzak, the man of your huh. training? Yeah, one of your deepest fantasies. Oh, thanks a lot. Say, so how long have you been working in his office now? Mm, six months, three weeks, and two days. <laughs> not that she's been counting on it. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, listen, I know how you feel. But believe me, this is just ink on paper. It'll be forgotten about tomorrow, okay? And your company did save a woman's life. And you were part of it. Well, thanks. So, you and your brother fighting fires together. Every little boy's fantasy, huh? Mm. Anyway, you know, just think about it, because, you know, you could really be helping the fire department on this one. And you could be advancing your own career at the same time. Be on fire engines. Well, that's just it, Alderman. Fire engines run in the family. Politics don't. Can you believe that? Four thousand guys in the department. She's got to pick him. The guy's a dispatcher. I even hate that guy's voice. Jackson, he's all right. Yeah, women. They gotta pick somebody, right? Sally's finally ironing your shirts. Oh, no. That's new. A couple of shifts, it'll be as trash as the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Mike's never lasted more than a couple of weeks. I was always fixing those things. I'm sorry. I miss him. It's okay, Dana. It's all right. I just miss him, you know? Oh. 
man, this job. This job sometimes. I mean, to buy it trying to go the extra yard, that's one thing. But to buy it because there was no backup. What? So what? Huh? And we don't go into flyers for slave back. And we don't do it for any of them. You know that. You taught me that. We're gonna be okay, Axe. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, yo. Hey, uh, she's not gonna get divorced, is she? Hell if I know, man. Oh, man, no. Hey, Pindelli! What? You made the captain's list. What? You made hey. the captain's list, man. Hey, all right! Yeah. All right, dude. Well, yeah, right. You made the captain. Oh, let me see. I right, give me the break. You made the top, right there. Oh, right. Back, big, way, way to go. All right, really? Right here. Yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> all right. Good job. Thank you. How's it feel? That's you, all right. Good job, dude. And how on the lips? Hey, way to go. Way to go. And Shadow, he was trying to pin those telephones on me so that he could send me to the electric chair, rid the world of a... <laughs> but when that phosphorus blew up, it was back to basics. He was a fireman, I was a citizen. And Wallop, he throws himself on my back and saves my life. Temperature of this room was about 2,000 degrees. An accidental short in the outlet could have created a spark of about 7,000 degrees, enough heat to melt the wire and cause the fire. No, it could. You'd be right with normal wire, but that's gauge 10 in that plug. That stuff won't melt at less than 12,000 degrees. No natural spark short of lightning gets that hot. In another life, I was in high-end electronics. Have outlet analyzed for any traces of accelerants. Don't mention it. Hey, 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 hey. Check the structure for burn and smoke pattern. Okay, don't get lost. Okay. Tim, you got that. Soak these over here. Excuse me. So, uh, you guys surviving without me? I mean, there are no replacements, if that's what you mean, because your boss is cuts. If another guy goes out, an injury, they were pretty screwed. Swizek's not my boss, Tim. And he ain't mine. Ooh, like the tie. Who love the tie. <laughs> Baby Mag. Hey, Brian. Yo. You're looking for some smoke patterns. We got them wholesale right there. Hey, right over here. Oh, back here? Yeah, I see. Hey. <coughs> Say, can you hand me that pike pole? Yeah, sure. That's just about enough, don't you think, guys?
the hell's the matter with you, huh? You're stepping in this shit again. You could have done it, Brian. You don't want this. Wake up, kid. You gotta admit, you're kind of making yourself fair game here. Thanks for the insight, big brother. Look, Brian, don't get me wrong. Hey, now. get off my back, all right? Hey, I just want to say that I think Rimgill's okay, you know? I mean, I don't understand how he's talking about. But then that's what everybody says about me, right? So who the hell knows, huh, Brian? So, Jackson, treating you okay? I treated you better. Well, I guess I gotta go. You want me to read that? Go ahead, yeah. Trick the chloride. Trick the chloride. Okay, here we go. Trictochloride is a binary structured polycarbonate. Go to the bottom of the heat properties. Okay. During heat episodes of 2,000 Kelvin or higher, trictochloride breaks down and dissipates. Will consume magnesium. Magnesium. You ever burnt magnesium? Son of a bitch is so hot it takes water molecules. And bam! Son of a bitch tears them apart just to eat the oxygen. No problem melting 10 gauge wire. The problem is that it leaves powder traces. Unless you can find something that would eat its residue. Trick to chloride. So then he can announce C. Grave as a murder. No, that's not enough proof yet. Someone might have put the chemical in the outlet, but we only found it as a vapor in Cosgrove's clothes. There was putty in the doors. Even if it was used to seal the air up, that don't explain why someone will go to the trouble of a backdraft. The gun is a hell of a lot easier. All I'm saying is that the best guess is arson, right? Well, I don't guess. Some people say you don't do anything when it comes to this case. Well, I don't work for some people. Maybe you do, but I don't. Arson. Hey, that's the straightest answer I've gotten from your apartment all week. Yeah. Listen, um, there's a fundraiser one night, and well, Marty would be very interested if, if you came. Marty. Look, I don't know, I'm kind of swamped around here. Well, I could use a day. McCaffrey, come here. Look, I gotta run. I'll call you later, okay? Before I retire... There isn't enough proof to go public That's yet. what you're saying is you haven't found anything. No. Yes. Okay, what? We found some chemical stuff in the plugs. It might be some kind of behavioral pattern, but uh, give the guy a break, huh? Well, this bad boy here, it's your basic standard issue piece of primary fire suppression equipment. Mm -hmm. Over here, we got the pumping panel controls the rate of liquid insertion into the hose. Straight bore stang up top. Use that baby for the really big jobs. This here? It's a six inch play pipe. Cast bronze to keep it firm during hard flows. Behind you, we call that a pipe extender. Oh. And this is the hose bed. It goes on about how the break was made through the discovery of chemical traces and a distinct behavioral link. 
Uh, oh, and uh, how Swayzak has indicated that the chief investigator is closing in on a torch and expects an arrest at any time. Get your stuff and get out of here. Where's Swayzak? Where the hell is he? Brian, what are you doing? You told Swayzik about the arson lead? It's all over the goddamn news, Jennifer. I didn't know it was a secret. There aren't supposed to be secrets between Bullshit. the city. You knew what I told you wasn't ready for the papers yet. Do you want to keep your voice down? There's people You may have scared the son of a bitch away! We may never bust him now. All for a couple goddamn political points, Jennifer. I was doing my job. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you tell me how much of all this has been doing your job, huh? Let me ask you something, Brian. Do you really think Marty assigned you to arson because of your firefighting skills? I was there, remember? I saw you and your brother at the Hey, keep fire. Steven out of this. Oh, right, Steven. He's the real fireman. And you work for Martin Swayzak. I work for the city. Oh, come on, Brian. You knew what this was when we asked you to take this job. I mean, don't suddenly pull out a conscience now, okay? Because the fit isn't right. Ah, Mr. McCaffrey. Keeping busy, are we? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I just dropped off a letter to the Times explaining how yesterday's arson announcement was a complete fabrication by this office. And you know something? You were right. My background, coming from a firefighting family, gave it a lot of weight. Marty, he knew what I told you was in confidence. He wasn't ready for the press. I don't see my staff report. Get it for me, will you? He's going to live. Not much else. But he's going to live. Connection, Alderman? Just do your job, will you? Do what you're paid to do. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. You don't trust me because you think I'm involved with Swayzek. But I'm finished with him now. Give me a chance to really work on this case. So what do you see? Okay. It's a hell of a lot less structural damage here than in the theater. There's something weird here. There's alligator charring on this cross beam. And there's only scorching on the paneling. But look at this burn pattern. That shouldn't be that way. You're thinking too much of the physical evidence, Brian. And not enough of the ghosts. guys doing? Fire department, lady. Well, calling me stupid. <laughs> I always thought the fire department put out fires. You work here? Yeah, till last Tuesday. What a mess. You seem real broken up about Mr. Holcomb. Jeff Holcomb? 
The Darth Vader of tax accountants? He was a sleazeball. Hopefully he was a sleazeball that carried some insurance. Well, you better talk to the building owner. He was the building owner. Our record showed a uh, Deckham Trust is the owner of this place. Deckham Trust? <laughs> is that what they're calling it this week? Have fun, boys. I'm busy. Hey, 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 I said I'm busy, damn it, okay? What? They don't knock on your planet. This is Tim's. We still haven't gotten that fire report yet, Steven. Every day, but a fireman, you never get used to it. What happened? I know he was a probie, but was he paying attention? Was he listening? Or... He wasn't listening to the right thing. What do you listen to? You don't know. I mean, I guess nobody knows. <laughs> I might. Fire report, Lieutenant. Tim went to the fire, and now he doesn't have a face. Captain, yeah. over here. Take a look at these. I think I got something. Deckham Trust was owned by Pan Illinois, which is majority controlled by uh, Lakeside Dynamics. Well, Lakeside Dynamics is a division of Windy City Ventures. Guess who the partners there are? Who? Seagrave, Cosgrove, and Holcomb. I knew they knew each other. Check that out. Seagrave and Holcomb were accountants. And Cosgrove. Cops figured he loaned the money for the mob before getting into real estate. They weren't too high in Seagrave either. Nice bunch of guys, huh? Yeah. And then they wound up wearing candles for faces. Swain's acts up to his ass and it's somehow. He was scared shitless before. You should have seen him. You gotta get a look at his personal files. I've staked my whole, well, you've given me my whole career, and I just. No. So, here. 
we got up first. Yeah? Airtight, huh? There's three more drafts of that same report. Only problem is they all got different numbers. It's like they were making that stuff up as they went along. Okay, how's that feel? It feels good, thanks. You're not going anywhere? No, it's good. Thank you. Okay. Now, Brian, you can say it's awesome. How you doing, boss? You okay? Yeah. I'll get out of here in a couple of days. Did you pull me out of there? Yeah. I say thanks? Nope. I saw it, Stephen. Saw what? When Dad died, I saw another fire. I tried to yell to him, Stephen. I tried. And he said to watch out for him. And I didn't. I just. I just watched him die. You think he meant that? Why did he have to say that, Brian, Stephen? you were seven years old. I mean, you think he could have heard you in there? I hate him so much sometimes. You don't know how hard it was to put that uniform on. Maybe I do. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done. But it's a little late to change things. Well, I guess Helen's right. I don't have all the answers. I got to do something. You want to help me? Brian. Yeah. Did a good job. Thanks. Investigator Mim Gale. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? How long do you believe Swayze had been involved in the case? How long do you believe Swayze had been involved in the case? How long do you believe Swayze had been involved in the case? What is the role of the boss? Could use a little spin control out there. Well, I quit two days ago, Brian. What are you going to do? I'm going to sleep late. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? Okay, thanks. Well. I'll, uh... I'll 
see around. It's a small town. 